The Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act not only established national standards for active coal mining and reclamation, it also created the Abandoned Mine Land Program. This program addresses safety and environmental problems caused by mines abandoned before passage of the Act. The Office of Surface Mining also oversees this program, reviewing and monitoring state proposals, granting funds for remedial work, and responding on a priority basis to emergency conditions. Funds for abandoned mine reclamation come from a tax paid by active coal producers. The reclamation of abandoned mines to this point has been a sizable effort. Throughout the country, there are still thousands of acres of former mining sites that were abandoned before the enactment of the surface mining law in 1977. A common problem with abandoned mines, both coal and non-coal, are the shaft openings. People can, and sometimes do, fall into vertical shafts. Horizontal mine openings provide tempting access to children and adults. These openings can collapse and may contain noxious gases. To eliminate these hazards, the abandoned openings are usually filled with rock or sealed with concrete. At old abandoned sites, erosion, acid drainage and sedimentation from unreclaimed mine refuse and spoil piles can destroy wildlife habitat and pollute water unless proper precautions are taken. To prevent this, the piles are graded to establish stable slopes and proper drainage. Prior to seeding, the refuse or spoil may be treated to neutralize acidity. In cases of extreme acidity, the refuse may be covered with several feet of soil. In steep terrain, landslides from abandoned mines can pose hazards. To eliminate potential landslides, the unstable material can be removed and the mine drainage diverted to a more stable channel. Ignited by burning trash at coal outcrops, by forest fires, or by spontaneous combustion, underground fires from abandoned mines can contribute to subsidence and the fumes can affect neighborhoods. Often the fires are discovered only by steam from ground fissures. Refuse piles may also catch fire. The spread of underground fires can be controlled by isolating the fire zone. Or the mine can be flushed and the burning material excavated. Sometimes the fire is smothered by sealing the mine. Refuse fires can also be excavated, smothered with soil, or quenched with water. Abandoned high walls are steep and may present hazards. To remedy this problem, either the cut area is filled or the high wall graded to a more stable slope. The slope is then seeded to prevent erosion and complete the reclamation. Pits and sags in the ground surface caused by settling of abandoned underground mines can affect structures and utility lines. This subsidence can be stabilized by filling the pits, reinforcing building foundations, or filling the mine itself. The abandoned mine land program not only eliminates hazards, sometimes it's used to the extent of creating parks, open space areas, or wildlife habitat out of abandoned mine sites.